热搜。YouTube, how's it going? It's Kev Baker here from the Kev Baker Show, www.truthfrequencyradio.com. Now, a lot of time people write to myself, reference the fact that we don't really speak a lot about chemtrails on the show. Now, chemtrails is actually something that was a big part of my original waking up. And over the years I've been doing YouTube, back at the start, really, it was chemtrail videos it was the majority of my material and it still fascinates me to this day. Now just the other day at work, it was on Saturday the 28th of February, I took a, in fact no it was Friday the 27th of February in the east end of Glasgow, I took a series of photos. Now I'm going to show you this first one here. Now as you can see, you've got the obvious chemtrail coming down from the top left hand corner. But if you look closely, you can also see what appears to be a dark black line. And it actually extends out further along from it. Now, just in case you're not actually getting the full idea of what I'm saying with that image, I've marked it out to make it look more obvious. Now, the reason I'm bringing up these photos and making a video on this occasion is because I've captured something that is called the black line phenomenon. Now you can google this and check out the chemtrail kind of stuff. There's no real hard and fast explanation I can give you for this black line that we can see extending out further in front of the actual plane that is laying the trail. Now as you can see here I've marked that line, it goes out past the actual plane. We can see the chemtrail as per normal and a lot of people will say well maybe this is a shadow. Now if you can picture up at the top left you can see a corner of the building. The sun if you keep going in that direction is off that way. So if it was a shadow surely the black line would be cast below the actual plane. Just in case you can't see it there Again, I've inverted the image this time, and you can see a white line now. The black, the darker line here is the chemtrail, and the white line that protrudes is the actual black line phenomenon, as we're calling it. Now, back in 2013, you can find this on my YouTube channel, I actually caught this same phenomenon in the same location. This time, it was after the chemtrail had been sprayed, and what you actually see is, as I'll play in a second, the black line extending from the rear of the chemtrail. So have a look at this. Hey YouTube, just filming a wee chemtrail here. I hope you can see it. There's a mad black line behind it. You can Google it, black line phenomenon. They get seen with chemtrails, just to prove it as a chemtrail. Look. What is it? Who knows? What can be casting a shadow that isn't even there? Right then, so, same day now, here's another image I want you to look at. Here we go. So you can see the white line again, only this time there appears to be two black lines above it. And again, I've marked that out so you can see that more clearly. I don't know how to explain this, folks. One explanation I did see and that is from some researchers that are saying it's possibly some kind of particle beam. Now, I don't know why they'd be using a particle beam. There wasn't any explanation for that. But they went on to say that if you were to add metal particles, and bear in mind you find things like aluminium inside these chemtrails, then that would actually enhance the properties of these particle beams. Can I confirm that's what it is? Obviously I can. I have no idea. Now later on in the day I took a picture facing the sun and just take a look at this. Now then we see a chemtrail in the middle, we see a couple of black lines actually and then we see this almost ribbed rippled effect. Now I like to call that the harp effect. I'm not talking about harp over in Alaska but when they're doing some of these geoengineering projects what they'll actually do is they'll stimulate the area they've sprayed with one of these ionospheric heaters. They will bounce 
radio waves of the atmosphere and whatever they are doing. If you think of waves, that, in my mind, I'm not saying this is correct, but that shows me that there is some kind of geoengineering program at work on the 27th over Glasgow. In fact, it was Friday, yeah, 27th. But just look at that there. And then I've actually gone on and I've embossed this actual image. So if you look at this here, you can actually see the lines of the clouds. And then these ones, the straight lines, that was the chemtrails that you've seen. Now, just before I actually show you a video of a black line being sprayed, just take a look at this one here. And this one shows the embossed one with the three lines. You see, a lot of people claim this is a shadow, but how would it be cast up the way, folks? What's your thoughts on the black line phenomenon? Please let me know. And as I said just a moment ago, I will leave you with this video of it actually happening. Now you can see this line being sprayed here. What is this? Now people say to me as well, well, chemtrails, what are they for? I can't answer that because I think there's so many different bloody projects running at once. There'll be military projects, there will be um, geoengineering projects, there'll be some kind of space-based projects possibly, scientific testing, a whole host of things going on up there. It's just that we can't say it's one exact thing. But we do know that they do have weather weapons. Just recently we had a professor coming out and saying that the CIA had approached him to ask if it would be able to tell if another country was altering the weather over America. And of course we have treaties that ban countries from the use of weather weapons. So for something that doesn't exist, they're going to an awfully lot of trouble to make sure nobody uses these things that don't exist. So listen folks, that's enough of your time taken up by me. Black line phenomenon, what the hell is it? Now you can catch myself and Marty tomorrow night, 11pm in the UK, 6pm over on the East Coast, 3 on the West Coast. And it'll be um, www.truthfrequencyradio.com, just a news blitz, the Manic Monday. Then on Tuesday, we'll be joined by Nano Girl. And on Wednesday, we'll be joined by Jamie Hanshaw. And she'll be going into the Illuminati music rituals that we see going on all around us. And she'll be telling us how she was able to successfully predict exactly what Katy Perry went on to do at the Super Bowl. I'm really looking forward to that one. Stay tuned and make sure wherever you are, make it T F. Are.